Having developed a sense in graphic and interior design prior to his fashion career, Nicholas Wong has flaunted a highly accessible, monochromatic palette that is based on distinctive workmanship and an eye for acute finishings. For this brand, Nicholas, we focus on constructions. Uh, we try to give better workmanship and we focus a lot on fabrication also. It's a bit um, androgynous also. My style is I like, I like to keep things simple. I love to have black, grey and love to play with um, some matte muted fabric and some shiny and shimmer fabric together and fuse them together so that it have that kind of texture look. Playing with jersey is also interesting because it allows more room space. Like for this, it has a, it's like an over egg shape, we call this like an egg shape. And then we play with lines and um, there's a pocket here and like a finishing. It's, it's totally different when you play with um, like a woven fabric or like a small stiff fabric. When we construct a garment, uh, that is one of the things that we consider and then we go into drafting and then we do a sample out and then sometimes we try to see whether we can do some drape and then sometimes when we do a sample from that sample we recreate um, another design so it's like a flow For the piece of top, it's actually a two-piece garment with just a, a cape With this two-piece here, we uh, twist it play around on a mannequin to make it um, into a real garment From there, we zoom in and we look into the finishing, like um, this is a very simple top, um, playing with the, with, the, with the coating on top. And um, so it's really so simple, but we want to give the wearer um, have some pride when they are wearing something which, which we, have, we have some very clean, because our concept design aesthetic, very clean, very simple, clean finishing without seeing messy thread and even choosing from for for the trims and buttons we have to be we, we try to be as precise as possible because not all buttons work well in all garments also and and also we give very um, small details and this flap here you can actually flip it up so that it could give not overwhelming um, details, but something where the wearer can play about. So aside from design, after all the design, everything, we had to come down to construction details. Renowned for his self-named label and his enthusiasm to stay true to his style, he reckons that there should be a balance in educating consumers to dress the way clothes are specifically designed and retailed. I would say for now, prices is very competitive now, and there's a lot of um, brands that, that have design that you can see from the runway show. Of course, at the consumer point of uh, view, they will like it. For our creative industry, we will face that there's too, too many competitors and that is how we have to educate our consumer of what they like and what we are giving them. Um, aside from um, design, we are also giving them the, the quality of the design, the quality of the fabric and when you wear a cloth, it shows your status. For us, um, we don't really follow trends in a way. That's how we move on because we are not like um, other department store or bigger company where they have a team like um, they do a bohemian team, um, ethnic, zebra kind of thing. So we, we have our own design aesthetic to follow in a way. But of course, knowing what is a trend now is important for us is because we, so that we know what is, uh, what is everyone doing and we can keep track of ourselves also. I would love to see um, our local consumer um, to have more faith in our local label and really see that we are also comparative to some of the international labels.